Thanks for sticking to the end for us, everyone. I'm Nick Logan, and joining me is David Godoy. We are going to talk about how to prepare yourself mentally for game day. Next slide. Game day mindset is how you prepare for a game day. As a Special Olympics athletes, we exercise physically train for a game day. How do we mentally balance the nerves and excitement of the game day and still play well? Can pre-green rituals prepare your mind? One simple strategy is to arrive to the game early so on so you mentally prep to get ready and looking professional athletes often arrive two hours early before the start time to address your nerves and anxiety many of us have been taught the back breathing for those who aren't familiar, it is a simple way to calm your mind and your body. You are welcome to follow along. Step 1. Inhale through your nose for 6 seconds. Step 2. Exhale out your mouth for 6 seconds. Step 3. Inhale through your nose for 6 seconds. Hold for 6 seconds and exhale for 6 seconds. A pre-game ritual can help you prepare your mind and your body for what's ahead. Rituals can be a private process or a very public process. For example, the Cleveland Cavaliers fans know LeBron James. pre green ritual ends with a big cloud of talcum powder on the court. Some players will interact with a fan. Many professional athletes will listen to the music of the, on your headphones prior to the game to clear their minds and hide themselves out for the game. Next slide, please. One of the ways I prepare for game day is I think about who we're facing, how I played in the last game, what strategies could improve our position. Then I like to check on my teammates to see how they are doing with their game day rituals and mindsets. Our softball team's game day ritual includes one of our teammates calling us into a huddle and he would have a circle around him and he would begin some kind of chant that always ended with something like team on three it was our pre-game bonding exercise david can talk a little bit about individual sports and how he gets ready for his favorite sport, snowshoeing. Thank you, Nick. I love the sport of snowshoeing because I am passionate about it. Being able to be in the moment, feel the energy of the crowd, the support of your teammates and coaches, parents, cheer you on, and they're there no matter what. I cherish each moment. 
We now have a question for you. Do you have a pregame ritual? Do we have three people that want to volunteer? You can also answer in the chat. So if you could please actually write in the chat what you do for pregame ritual. We're going to move to the next slide. Actually. Let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. The athlete's oath is more than just something to say. It's a reminder that every time we have an opportunity during a sporting event, it's a brand new opportunity for success. We would like to share an inspirational video of Eunice Kennedy's speech at the first Olympic Games in Chicago. In ancient Rome, the gladiators went into the arena with these words on their lips. Let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. Today, all of you young athletes are in the arena. Many of you will win. But even more important, I know you will be brave and bring credit to your parents and to your country. Let us begin the Olympics. Thank you. How do you put your mind back on track if you make a mistake? Mistake rituals can help. They can be as simple as snapping your fingers or as be as elaborate as the whole team coming together to high five. For example, in pro sports, on the nationals is a Soto shuffle. For me, every new opportunity to get that out, make the, the, that basket, advance to the next base, is my mistake ritual. So every time I mess up, I'm like, I'll get them next time. David? When I came to practice or competition for snowshoeing, if I have a bad day or something doesn't go as planned, I know that life fills with plenty of opportunities. My ritual is saying to myself, David, you can do this. I have it in me because I love what the sports that I do. Do you have a mistake ritual? If you do, please type it on the chat. Next slide, please. Attitude is contagious. Boosting confidence, cheering, or giving encouragement during an event or play can make your teammates feel better even when things are rocky. It will let them know that even in difficult times, you have their back. Put the game in perspective. Sports are supposed to be fun. Positive statements ensure that spirits and energy remain high. Confidence is contagious. Angry outbursts and petty arguments can disrupt the momentum of a game. If you have an issue with a specific part of your match, a skill you misplayed or a play, Park it and talk with a coach or family member later. Next slide. Actually, no. Sorry. David, your turn. Bad in-game situations can be seen as positive thing. 
if you have a chance, the way you look at it, sometimes you have to turn his head. A good example you have a good example is the softball. If you get a bad move the runner over the next base, yes, you are out, but you have moved your teammates into a scoring position. So the, the guy or girl behind you has a chance to drive them home. Next slide, please. All right. If we can go to our last slide, please. All right, so it's quiz time. Hope you guys are all awake enough for this. We have two questions that are gonna pop up via Zoom poll that are also gonna pop up on the screen from our slides. First, first one is, what is the importance of a pregame ritual? And the second one is, even when things go wrong, who can have a positive mindset? All right, we're going to give you guys about 45 seconds to answer. Ten seconds or so left now. All right, so I see most of you got question one correct. And I also, which is one is the first answer for question one is wrong is because they don't really need to be mentally ready to watch you compete because they're there already. And the bottom answer isn't correct because we're trying to get ourselves ready, even though it may involve our teammates to help get us ready. And you want to answer too, David? Yes, why? answer two will be all, all of the above. Why is that? Even, even though things can go wrong, uh, sometimes in the, in the practice or, or, or the competition, you can, you can still have a positive mindset. Okay, so a strong mind always hopes and has always, and has always cause to hope. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, do we have some questions from the audience? And it can be for any of the four groups that have talked. Yep, so great job, David and Nick. And now we're going to take questions. I know we are a little bit over eight o'clock now. Um, so if you don't have to stay on, but if there are a few questions, please put them in the chat. This could be for any group, whether that was nutrition, hydration, physical activity, or game day minds. Um, if we don't see any questions in the chat, then we're going to keep on going. So we'll give it a couple seconds. 
feel free to put any questions into the chat. Give it another 10 to 15 seconds. I don't see any questions quite yet. All right, I still don't see any questions, just see a lot of thank yous. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap up tonight's presentation. So next slide, please. So on behalf of our Special Olympics Maryland Health Messengers, uh, we wanna thank you for joining us tonight to learn about nutrition, hydration, physical activity, and game day minds. I hope you really enjoyed the content that was shared by each group. Um, while we haven't been able to compete as usual since COVID-19, uh, the information that we shared tonight can be applied both in sports and every, everyday life to improve your health, wellness, and fitness. I hope everybody has a terrific rest of your night and the rest of your week. Be well and stay safe. And bye everybody, have a good rest of your night and a good rest of your week. Thank you so much for joining.